Hi, welcome to Buddy RC. My name is Dan. Dale sold the very first charger, eye charger, out of the basement of his home. At that time, it was EP Buddy. Well, since then, EP Buddy has become Buddy RC, and we are the number one distributor and the largest distributor of eye chargers in the United States. What I have for you today is the new charger from eye charger. It is the DX8 Duo. Let's go over the specifications. They're written right here on the box. Let me read through them rapidly for you. The input voltage is a 9 volt to 49 volt DC. The maximum input current is 65 amps or 45 amps per channel. The maximum charge discharge DC power is 50 amps or 30 amps per channel. The maximum charge power is 1600 watts or 1100 watts. The maximum discharge power is 70 watts or 45 watts per channel. Maximum regenerative discharge power is 1600 watts or 1100 watts. The maximum balancing current is four amps or two amps per channel. It supports multiple battery chemistries, all of your popular brand or popular types, lipo, lithium ion, lifey, nickel metal, nickel cadmium. It has a it has a setting on here for lithium high voltage. The dimensions are 97 and a half by 128 and a half by 40 millimeters, and it only weighs 440 grams. Okay, so let's go over a few specifications again. So the dimensions are 97 and a half by 128 and a half by 40 millimeters thick. Now the input on this is an XT90, and you have your two cooling fans, and of course your stand up, your stand. Now the output for your charge leads are XT60s, and once again it supports an 8S battery. You've got two servo leads, one for each channel. And the nice thing about this is they did away with the scroll wheel on the side, which not many people liked. So now they've got a much better scroll wheel right here in the middle. And it's, uh, it's more sturdy, it's more accurate, it's a lot better. Let's plug it in and we'll go through the features and special features. So as you can see, it's got the iconic eye charger interface. Channel one is blue, channel two is green. You've got your status buttons here on the front and you got your scroll wheel. So you wanna be push and hold and this takes you into your charger setup. Your first feature is your temperature and fan you want to select, if you need to access any of the features, just one quick push on the center button. There it's Celsius. You've got your on temperature for your fan. Your off delay is two minutes. You can scroll through any of the, you scroll through any of the features that you want. It's highlighted with a red box. You can save it, you can exit. You've got your beep tone, you have your LCD screen, USB, your output power, one quick push, channel one is 1100 watts, channel two is 1100 watts, and once again, in synchronous, this is synchronous charging, this is 1600 watts, or it's 1100 watts per channel. You have your discharge here at 45 watts per channel. Your input limit, here's all your readings for your input limits. Save and load configuration, so if you're gonna charge multiple batteries, or I'm sorry, if you're gonna charge the same battery and you continuously charge it at the same amperage, you can set this and it'll save and load your configurations. Easy access from the main menu. Calibration, your log files, your servo test, analog servos, you can select digital servo, 
It gives you your 1500 US 330 megahertz. There's your analog or your digital with the 760. I think that is a tail rotor server, servo. Go to a linear test. You can move it, your dial, and it'll move your servo. You click it once to exit. Pulse test and exit. So there you have it. It is a simple charger to use. Let's plug in a battery and we'll go through that settings. So what I'm using here is a 5,500 5, milliamp three cell. So as you can see, you got each individual cell reading. You've got the total voltage. Go to charge. Now you click after you start your charge, you click the status button once. It shows your IR for each individual cell. Your info. Your capacity. And once again, if you want to stop, click the stop button one time, and there you go. So like I said earlier, what makes iChargers the most popular charger on the market is the high power, the high charging current, the compact size, the most accurate cutoff voltage, the fast accurate balance speeds, and in general, it charges batteries faster and more accurate than other brands. So it is a very nice charger. I will be more than happy to put one of these on my workbench or my flight bag, take to the field. It's compact, you could put this in a charge box, no problem. If you enjoyed the video, so please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, if you are, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.